Yeah. Well, bartending, whatever. Yeah, 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 bartending, yeah. So with not, not further... a full pay time job. Yeah. Without further ado. Good. <laughs> we are on Star Runner. Hopefully the overlay has been removed and everything is good and ready to go. And in the bottom left corner in the blue trunks we have Acer's Innovations. Currently down 0-2 and he needs to make something happen now to turn this series around. And at the bottom right we have Axiom Acer, a red Terran, who uh, to the surprise of everyone has actually been killing everyone. <laughs> Uh, Total Biscuit didn't count on him uh, making it through and, and beating the entire tournament, and possibly just taking the entire tournament. We didn't count on him beating, uh, what's his name, Crank or Impact, and yet he has done so. so yeah, beating Young's both play. terribly. So impressive. Yes, he's looking looking to take this. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, what strategies they will go for there. they kind of both been going for the very early um, command center, which... Um, and which has been a, a little bit different. I've seen a lot of very aggressive Terran uh, players, and now they're both actually going for the Mercs first, and I'm very excited to see if they're going to add a quick gas or not, and try and both be a little bit more aggressive. And there we go, Ryung first with the gas. Yeah, so one base factory play. We'll see if he goes straight into Vultures. Um, I know he does like the Vultures. <laughs> I was going to say it could be one base bio, but I don't think so. Well, it could open for Reapers at least. That is an interesting choice that can be done. Well, but it doesn't Reapers strike me as something that either Innovation or Ryung would do. Um, yeah, that's true. Where they're, they're, they're less experienced with the new Sarvo units. And, I mean, it's just, especially with the SCT units, they're so different from their SC2 counterparts, where everything that's Brood War feels relatively Brood War. So that's yeah. just the best fallback and the best way to just make sure, hey, I want to win money. I'm going to use my years of Brood War professional experience and make a victory in that way. Mm. I was I was, I was, was really hoping some of the more Starbo focused players would make it higher up so we could see some of them, some we of had, the more Starbo players. But, but, you know, yeah, we had Crank, that's true, and Crank almost made it. And he almost won that game on Destination where you unfortunately dropped out uh, as well, and he could have been able to take that series versus Innovation. Uh, so, so we have seen also, you know, in the group play, we did see a lot of Starbo specific stuff, and I see that some doodads needs to be fixed on this map as well. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just goes to show you how much higher of a level these Koreans are playing at. They're playing a, a game they're not familiar with. They're using, they're not even using Overcharge. They're not using all the new units or the new mechanics, yet they're able to just destroy their opponents who who have a lot more ladder game, who've been laddering and just will go what like BCQ score. On BC Cutie score on the ladder was two losses. Yeah, was like How two many wins? losses? Forty nine wins or something like that. Yeah, like in the I, past I few days. When RSVP started laddering, he was like forty zero for a long time, and then he like finally lost a couple of games. But he, and now he's like hundred and eighteen wins and maybe like twenty losses or something. It's incredible. Like some of the best players on the ladder. Good luck on that. And. Um, and and every time you start the ladder, you start like down on bronze, and you slowly work your way up. So you, if you meet like a high silver player, you should be very scared. <laughs> oh, is there a WCS going on? No. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a WCS okay. going on right now. I think. Yeah. Whatever. So, so if you want to watch Starbo, you'll probably watch this. If you want to watch WCS, you'll watch that. Yeah. Well, you don't want to watch WCS. This is Starbo. <laughs> You can watch WCS almost every other day. You can, how often can you see a, a, you know innovation and Ryong duke it out in Starbo? Yeah, true. All right, speed point. vultures are going to be out in a boot, and innovation takes. Yeah, they both are getting their expansion out. Ooh, oh, is is he gonna be pushing up with marines? Yeah, two marines with those vultures. Both kind of uh, going for. Well, he's going for tank mm. instead of vultures, but it's very similar. Much more safer opening this time than the last couple of games. I guess they were both expecting some shenanigans from their opponents for some reason. I think Ryong just wanted to stay safe, keep his lead, and Innovation uh, also wanted to make sure he doesn't lose one more game to something crazy. Got a very early starport from both of them, so this looks probably going to be quite similar to the first game we saw, except that their openings are just a lot more safer. Yeah, they both don't have too much information on what each other is doing. Okay. Uh, Ryung has, okay. the, has the read on his opponent going mech. Innovation has absolutely no knowledge whatsoever of his opponent, minus the fact that he's got an expansion, so... No well, idea what to expect. It, 
At least they know about the call on SCV. Ryong is, I think Ryong uses overcharge a little bit more than Innovation does. Innovation still doesn't have orbital commands. Oh, and baby don't know you, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you heard the baby Cepheus in the background there. She was that was actually she was just being happy and not crying. I promise. <laughs> There's no torture that she does, going on. There's no, There's no child abuse. Well, she does cry a lot. She is a baby, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what babies do. All right, I've got a cat. You got a baby. What's she gonna do, stream? Wow. What's she gonna do? Oh, Rium's oh, wow. going in. Oh, he needs to get the SEVs, not toy with the tanks. Come on. Rium, get out of there. All right, he's, eh, doesn't get that much done. He got, like, one SEV and he lost one vulture, so, eh, I guess that's okay. What's really nice about if you're doing this sort of drop play is that this drop play will actually just let you see what your opponent's doing. It'll give you some reads you usually wouldn't, just by the fact that you're doing this aggressive play and are inside their base. So that, there's always that side benefit of doing this this sort of vulture harass, even if you're not necessarily doing damage. What are you talking about? Terrans have scanned, they can always see what their opponent is doing. Yeah, I'm, then, I'm then you can drop an SCV I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, but it uh, feels so imba sometimes with the scan, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go down there on the bounce. <laughs> you <discussion>. zergy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, scouted that is, my spire, <laughs> what will I do? It's actually, <laughs> you know, it is actually quite interesting though with the, with how the scans work in TBT because it gives you so much vision of your opponent all the time, so all your choices are much more thought out and careful, and that's Ooh, one of the reasons I feel that six. TBT is more like a chess game because you always see what your opponent is doing and you have to make correct choices based off of uh, that. This is so annoying. He's got a tank up on the high ground and two gulls versus two gulls and two marines, and he, he'll have the high ground advantage if he fights. And Innovation does have the better position here because it's much easier for him to drop on that high ground than it is for Ryong to drop on Innovation's high ground yep. due to the, the geometry of this map. Yeah, harassing the natural. So fun. <laughs> At that spot. So annoying to deal with. Like, they'll I put Dragoons on there. Can be really annoying. Yeah, Lurkers, so anything. Uh, and Ryong is actually wanting to keep a lot of anti-air units there, just to make sure that doesn't happen, but that yeah, will leave his main sense. vulnerable, and Innovation Ooh. looking to tr maybe drop the main, no? Hey, well, Ryong has a, has a read on that, he already knows his opponent's doing something with those dropships. Going for the low ground, but there is a high ground advantage in Starbucks. I don't know how smart this is, these siege tanks might miss their targets with a 50% chance. And oh, oh but Innovation's tank is just has enough range, and the Goliaths don't have enough range to actually... Uh, that tank. So that went better for him than it could have. Well, he skidded out a lot of there anyway because he knew siege tanks would be coming, so I think that was a good choice. Innovation now landing his third base, and Ryong does not really have. Yes, he does. He has his third base on the way. Making me look bad. Go block it! Oh, never mind. There's Glyce. Ooh, the, I don't think he knows about the. Oh, yeah, he knows about the vultures, but he doesn't care. There we go. Now he cares as well. Vultures, whatever. Gets vultures for free. That's always a yeah, nice pickup. Goliaths don't care about vultures unless they walk into spider mines. And so, Innovation plants himself a little bit in the lead. He's got his third. He's got workers there transferred. And do we have a third up from the Ryung? Ryung? Sorry. Ryung, it's on the way. I, I read this the Y. Ryung. It's, this is a lot easier for me because <laughs> in the region, the, the Y is pronounced differently. It's, oh, yeah? It's, it's, oh. Yeah, it's, pro it's pronounced E. Ryung, so it's very much easier for me to say it that way. Bastard. <laughs> yeah. It's actually in most languages, I think the Y is pronounced that way. I think just English be derping around there, yeah, but we, I might be wrong. We Rye. <laughs> we... Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into language here. Okay, anyway, so it seems that uh, Ryung will be taking the third base that is very close to his opponent's main. That might be a very tight, contended area between the main of Innovation and the third base of Ryung there. With missile turrets on each side, Vikings uh, over there. This is going to be a very interesting position due to how they were, uh, how they were uh, placed in this map. Innovation a lot easier for him to expand away from his opponent, while Ryung almost is forced to expand at least somewhat towards his opponent. So, forcing a very interesting TBT. Uh, unfortunately, I don't play Terran much, so uh, it was not very fortunate that it was a TVT finals for me because that's not my most knowledgeable area but we'll just have to do the best with what we have. Um, at the present time I wouldn't define knowledge of TVT as like knowledge unless you're like BC cutie. Um, okay. <laughs> it's really hard to tell because everybody plays it differently so there's no established meta for it. 
if you have, oh, as you can hear, our youngest has learned to say mommy now, so she says it very okay. loudly. Ryung is finally taking his third. Um, That's so much later than his opponent. That is taking forever to get there. And nothing's happened yet, really. Innovation's been trying to, well, things have happened, no, just, just not lately, I mean. Innovation's been trying to find places to drop, but hasn't really been finding any openings. Now it's going to be even more difficult with Ryung taking this third base. And these spider mines for Ryung is actually proving nice. Um, giving him some nice vision on the map. Ooh, sending a group of vultures over to that one base he scanned. No, he didn't. He's just smart. Or he's stream sniping, but I know he... No, we haven't even mentioned it on stream. <laughs> Both players are being really careful. Uh, they do not want to lose this game. Turret ring for innovation. Turret ring for Ryung. I, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. All right, and we do have dropships. Both players are just frantically scanning each other constantly to keep track of each other. Dropship fleet is scanned. Drop fleet scan. <laughs> Drop fleet scanned. Uh, so they should both have tabs, and even a Viking out to spot. So just nothing is going to get by Ryung. And at the 12, uh, taking a... Man, that's an interesting position. He wants to split the map like this. I guess we could afford it, but... Strikes me as more more vulnerable to be the first spot innovation's gonna see. Sorry, I'm tired. I've been casting since 6 a.m. <laughs> and it's uh, 1 p.m. Ah, I got Alright. I'll get my stuff together. Goliath's tank force... Where innovation, his army is really different in the way that he has a lot more focus on dropships. Okay. They have an identical army. 17 Goliaths. Ooh, okay. A pretty big lead on tanks for innovation. So he does have that. Where Ryung, Ryung, uh, favors his dropships, I mean his vultures, and he's been planting mines everywhere, but he did lose all his vultures. So he's a little bit behind in the tank count, but in the TBT, it's all about how you use the tanks, not how many you have. Oh my god, they're so... They do not want to lose their army, they don't want to lose. They're so afraid to, to actually push. What did I miss? Um, both players posturing a lot. Mm. Turning, turning stale, huh? Yeah, oh, they're really Ryung? afraid to actually make something because they, they don't want to like make a mistake and give it to their opponent. But Ryung sneaking in that hidden expansion, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So he does have that going for him. Ooh, he's and gonna go for it. Innovation's gonna go for it. He sees there's very little defense here Whoa, on the third base. he finally takes a spot and his opponent... Ah, it's not the most ideal spot. Is his opponent going to defend with the drops or just counterattack in the main base? And he is going for the counterattack in the main base. So many missile turrets there, though. So difficult to find an opening. Oh, <laughs> that turret ring. So the tw the six, the nine, the six, whatever. I'm getting tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just say north or east, west, or something. Coffee. Okay, here we go. Oh, but whoa, it, it, counter drop. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we should just. Okay, so Ryung's just heading out of there. I think he's going to make this now. Yeah. He's ahead in supply, he's ahead in economy, he's got a great position. Uh, I don't know if what Ryung can do from this point. Maybe make some battle cruisers, but that's about it. Um, he's, he's got one guy in gas on his hidden expansion. He could drop down some SCVs, I guess. No, he couldn't. He's been using scans. I, I guess they don't use overcharge because they actually GG. are able to just use oh. so many scans. But yeah, there we have it. Ryung, I mean, um, Innovation taking a game off of Ryung, you know, clawing his way back into a potential comeback. 